Hey guys, another tutorial from the matlab.com here. Today we're going to be looking at how to retouch hair. Now, the important thing with this particular image, it's actually a bridal image. And this is a time consuming process, so we were very unlikely to do this on a bridal image. This is something that we would use for commercial or beauty work. However, I was working on this image the other day um, for a different tutorial, and I thought, it's going to be a good example because of the way these little tiny flyaway hairs are just catching the light. Okay, um, and this is quite a common thing. It's um, certainly not um, anything to do with the quality of the hair. It is purely a normal, natural phenomenon. Okay, so we're just going to come in here and look real quick. So you might see a lot of people use the spot healing brush and just come in and heal these little bits which is great when you're outside of the hairline. You can easily get rid of these little stragglers, okay? However, if we go ahead and come in here and we try and get rid of these, we can start to really get some weird patterns and blurring going on, you see here? And it just looks nasty. You can do it much better than I'm doing right now. Um, but it takes a lot of time. You still start to get blurry issues and lose the, uh, the texture of the hair. And we don't want that. So I'm just going to Command Z and step back on that. Okay? So what we're actually going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to make a new layer. We're going to set the blending mode to darken. Come across to the clone stamp. Again, set the blend mode to darken. Check a line sample is selected for all layers, really important. So, think about the general flow of the hair. So, the general flow of this bit of hair is going this way. Okay, so we're going to jump into, zoom into here, and let's take these hairs here. So, we're going to use, hold down the Alt key, select an area of hair by clicking on it. Let go of the Alt key and now start drawing in. See the little crosshairs? That's telling me where I'm sampling from. And hey presto, you've got rid of the hair. Same again. Alt key, release, and draw. Same again. And we're just real simple getting rid of the hairs. Now, hairs that go directly across the grain of the hair, as it were, are actually relatively straightforward to get rid of okay? because we can follow the patterns. What we have to be a little careful of is when a hair doesn't quite go against the grain. So you can see the main flow of the hair is this way and this sort of goes diagonally across. So we just want to come in here and we just want to do a little bit at a time. That's what I found best on hairs like this. Just a little bit at a time and you start to get a nice feel okay so relatively straightforward however there's a little skill involved and it's quite time consuming I'm just going to delete this layer now from the things that I've just done and I'm going to do a before and after of what I did earlier okay so that's how it can look there are issues here that I still need to deal with that's absolutely fine just wanted to spend 15 minutes doing some work on this to just show you the big difference that you can make but importantly, we're unlikely to do this again on a bridal image. We're likely to be doing this on a commercial or a beauty image. Okay, So it's relatively straightforward. We're going to deal with um, how to dodge and burn hair and retouch hair to make it look really, really nice um, in later videos. But I thought I'd just give you a quick, quick tutorial about how to do that um, on hair, especially for those flyaway hairs. Great guys. Okay, so if you want to um, leave me any comments below the video, please do. Um, and subscribe to this channel, that would be amazing. And head over to thematlab.com um, to check out some more info. Cheers guys. Okay guys, so if you head over to uh, thematlab.com forward slash PS, um, I've got some awesome free uh, Photoshop resources uh, that are coming out shortly. And uh, you can get hold of those if you go ahead and sign up to the email list.